Here is how to import your Facebook pages data on Google Sheets. And the first step is installing a Google Sheets add-on that you can find in the description of this video. There, you will click on Install, Continue, and you will connect the same Google account that you use on Google Sheets. Then you will click on Allow, so you grant access to Power Metrics, the Google Sheets extension that we are using for this exercise, to access your Google account. And here, you will click on Next, Done, and we have installed this Google Sheets add-on successfully. The next step is opening a new Google Sheets, click on Extension, and you will find our Google Sheets add-on right there by Porter Metrics. Click on Launch, and now with this extension, you will be able to import your marketing data from any marketing data source like Facebook Ads, Shopify, HubSpot, GA4, and our Facebook pages. For this exercise, click on the integration of Facebook Insights. And here, we will connect our Facebook profile that has access to our Facebook pages. So click on Connect a new account. Click on, in this case, it says reconnect because I have done this exercise several times, but you click on connect, got it, and we have connected our Facebook profile to Portal Metrics. The next step is giving a name to our query. For this exercise, I will call it page performance. Giving a name to our query will be important because later I will show you how to schedule report refreshes. So your data automatically updates every hour, day, or week on Google Sheets. So the name of this query will be page performance. The next step is connecting my Facebook account. This is important because eventually you could connect more Facebook profiles. If yours doesn't have access to a particular Facebook page, then other people in your team can also connect their profiles so you have access to all the data of your business, even though your personal Facebook profile doesn't have access to a particular business or Facebook page. Then the next step is choosing your Facebook pages. And this is also interesting because in the same report, I could combine and select multiple Facebook pages for a single report. This is especially useful for agencies to monitor multiple Facebook pages and also for companies with multiple brands. They could select multiple pages for, for multiple brands and they can have all the data blended together in a, in a single social media report. So I will choose for this exercise two Facebook pages and then I will set a date range. I will do it with last month, but I could import last year, this year, the last seven days, or any date range. And finally, I will choose my metrics and dimensions. And remember, metrics are numbers, are values. For Facebook pages, some examples are likes, followers, engagements, impressions, reach, reactions, numbers, and values. And dimensions are the way I break down those numbers. So I can break down my engagements or my impressions by post, by date, by post type, by Facebook page, and so on. For this query, I will be bringing my post data from post shares and post reactions, and I want to break down this data by the, by the post date, the post creation date, and the post message, the post actual copy. With this query, I will click on update or create report, and here we have imported our Facebook pages data successfully. But now I will show you how to analyze this Facebook pages data on Google Sheets and how to schedule these marketing reports automatically. I will show you how to set automatic data refreshes so your marketing data is always up to date by refreshing every hour, day, or week. You will go to the queries that you have created with the Portal Metrics extension and you will click on the settings of this query. Then click on Schedule and make sure that this automation is turned on. The next step is setting a frequency. Remember, you can refresh your data every hour, day, week, or even month. And finally, choose how you want to import the new data. You can override it, which means that we will replace the old data with the new data, or you can append it, which means that we can import the new data in your rows, but we will keep the historical old data. Finally, you will click on Save, and you will have automated your marketing reports on Google Sheets. Now I will show you how to analyze your marketing data on Google Sheets by using pivot tables, conditional formatting, and charts. But remember, we will have more in-depth tutorials for all these topics so you can learn to win with your marketing data. Remember to subscribe, of course, to this channel. And also, for this exercise, I will be using Google Analytics for data, but this works with social media, uh, paid ads, CRM data, whatever data. The first thing that I will do with the raw data that I have imported with the Google Sheets extension by Power Metrics is that I will select all the cells. Then click on Insert, and then click on Pivot Table. Select New Sheet, and click on Create. And we have created a Pivot Table. If you're not familiar with Pivot Tables, first, you will love them. And second, 
they are a way that let you sort, organize, and aggregate your raw data so you can analyze it quickly. And I will show you how it works. So first, for my rows, I will choose a dimension. In this case, I will do it with page title. Now I am breaking down my data by page of my website, but this data is not yet useful. I will select a metric or a value. So I will choose total users, my traffic, and I will select it in the values section. Now I am breaking down my traffic by page. But there is an issue here. I want to sort my data. I want to see the best performing content. So the sort by instead of page title will be by traffic. And also the order will be descending. Now with this query, I can see my best performing content in order. What is next? I will remove this dimension so you can see how quickly you can analyze your raw data. So I will remove page title and I will replace it with session and medium so I can know my acquisition sources. As you can see in this table, most of my traffic has an attribution problem. I don't know what it is, but after that, organic or SEO is our most important acquisition traffic with YouTube. Now, what is next? I want to do something else. I will want to go back to my query. So again, I will do it with page title, but I can set also a breakdown, not only for rows, but for columns. So I will set sessions and medium for columns. Now I will have like a grid or a matrix where I can see my data by page title and also by acquisition source. I want to sort this data correctly. So the order of the session and medium will be by traffic and will be descending. This is correct. And also the order of my raw dimension will be by traffic and descending. Now I am seeing my data correctly because I am sorting it by top, uh, by most traffic, by sources and also by pages. Here in the top left corner, I can see my best performing channels and my best performing content. But this is not visual yet, so I will show you something else. I will go to format, click on conditional formatting, and I will set a rule. If the cell, if the value of the cell is greater than a value, let's say 10,000 visitors, then highlight it. With this, I can quickly see that even though I have thousands of pages on my website, only six of them are driving more than 10,000 visitors to it. Now I will click on done. And as you can see, we can spot our best performing content and best performing channels in a single view. What is next? I will go again to my raw data and I will select again all the cells. What is next? I will click on insert, click on chart, and now I can display a chart so I can make my data more visual and easier to read for, for my audience, my clients or my team. And with this, you have some examples of how you can analyze your marketing data on Google Sheets with pivot tables, conditional formatting, and charts.